The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today, we're going to talk about O Block affiliate Honcho, which is sentenced to 20 years in prison for shooting an off duty cop. Let's jump straight into it. Um, apparently, from the court documents, um, this guy um, allegedly sh shot and robbed an um, off duty officer. Um, he had an ankle monitor on at the time, so that's how they put his exact location where it was at. You know, um, but I wish this brother the best, man. You know, um, he got 20 years to think about, you know, um, what he did, you know, also to change his life. Because one thing I see a lot with these shorties out here, these shorties is willing to crash out, but a lot of these shorties ain't willing to accept their time and their consequences behind their action. You know, it, it, it appalls me at times that when I see these shorties out there and nobody want to get no money no more, you know, nobody want to get no money. These dudes are have seven, eight blocks that they call a hood and ain't nobody getting no money on it. All they doing is just sliding and doing all this other stuff. And I just, I don't be understanding because you would sit there and watch your mother live in the projects or live in the hood. We getting food stamps, we getting cash assistance, we getting all of this help so we can make it throughout the month. And instead of you going out there and trying to make something to put something together to help your mom out, you worried about an op that stayed two, three streets over who more than likely family is going through the same situation you going through, barely trying to make it. You know, his mother is trying his best to do what she could do for him too, you know? And that's the part that I see with these shorties that it, 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 it be mind blowing to me because when I was coming up, when them dudes walked out the door, them dudes were trying to get some money. If them dudes walked out the house with $50, they were trying to come back with 500 You know, that's because people, people, I would say people value their life and they value what they had going on. See, nowadays, 2024, it ain't nothing but a bunch of kids trying to show the world that they gangster or show the internet that they gangster. See, in the early 2000s and in the, in the late 90s and stuff like that, People weren't doing all of that. You know, people didn't care to show the next person that they was tough or they was gangster. Of course, the internet wasn't around neither. But people wasn't tough and gangster and trying to do all of that. People was trying to get some money. And if you got in the way, it was what it was. But nowadays with these shorties, they slide just because today Tuesday, you know? And I just felt like this, man, you know, have a goal in life, man, and try to stick to it. But if you ain't trying to get your moms out the hood, create generational wealth, you know, you know, you know, be a, a, a solid citizen. I ain't trying to say be no no punk or no pushover or nothing like that. And you ain't really trying to better your community, bro. You really pretty much just in the way out here, you know, because all of this gang stuff to me is smoke and mirrors. And what I say is smoke and mirrors is because when you really more than likely get into it, you're going to see like, hold on. You get life in prison. Homies is dying. People snitching on you. Waking up with regret every day. So y'all can keep thinking that these gangs is where it's at. I'm trying to tell y'all it's smoking mirrors. You got, you got dudes right now they they go to jail. They gang don't even put money on their books. Don't do don't help out their kids. Don't go check on their mama. Ain't picking their kids up from school. None of that. But when you was free, you put your life and your freedom on the line for them. Trying to tell you, man. Be smart out here, man. Stop letting these older dudes send y'all off, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. You know, just pay attention. Don't let nobody send you off to do nothing that they wouldn't go do. You know. But I wish O uh O Block affiliate Honcho the best, man. You know, he got a 20 piece. He got a nice long time to think about his actions. And I just wish, brother, you know, you can't get the time back. But I just wish, you know, you just learn from your mistakes, man, and do better. And use your story to try to talk to the other shorties around O Block or try to just tell other people. Because, you know, the best example, man, is a person that went through it. You know, I'm going to say it again. The best example in life is a person that already went through it. It's not for you to go through the same struggle and pain that a person didn't already didn't showed you he went through. No. But I love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for tapping in with me. Peace, positivity, network, growth. Let's say these kids that ain't never too late. Love y'all.
the D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>